better know it. Got my kid folk dads in this motherfucker. You know what it is, DPG represent. Enough said. I talked about it in the last video, but okay, so remember when Bill Cosby was supposed to, they said he was about to, he was about to purchase NBC, and then after that, he never, it, it didn't go through, but then all these women from the 70s started coming out saying he did this and that. Well, Snoop bought Death Row Records uh, a couple days ago. Um, it was well celebrated, and like I say, I get it, you know, um, Snoop was associated with Death Row, he's forever linked to Death Row. You know, he he had to leave L.A. at one point, you know, go to No Limit he, to see him come and become this pop icon in American culture and turn the tables around and purchase the label. That's pretty cool. So a lot of people celebrated that. I don't know how much money, you know, is worth in Death Row Records. Death Row Records has been dead for 20 years. You know what I mean? It's not nearly as significant or is, you know, financial importance of NBC. That's different, if, if that is what Bill was trying to do. Uh, but similar kind of fashion, and I don't think this is going to be nowhere near as Bill Cosby where you're going to have a, a, a whole bunch of women coming out. But, yeah, this woman who uh, used to be a former background dancer for Snoop when he would, you know, go on tour, claims from May of 2013... Obama was in office, May of 2013. You done let almost 10 years go by. Now you coming out of nowhere right after the man buys death row and right before the Super Bowl performance. This is a perfect Oreo sandwich. This is all right in between the Super Bowl coming up and him buying death row records. And she's calling out Bishop Don Juan also. I don't know if people still remember him. He was like real popular in the videos back in the early 2000s. I remember he was on an episode of Jerry Springer. You guys actually looked that up when he broke down the whole pimp thing. It was genius. But Bishop Don Juan is she's a, she's accusing him also. But he's not the one that's performing at the Super Bowl on, on Sunday with Dr. Dre. Snoop is, you know, Don Juan isn't the guy who's got shows with Martha Stewart and commercials with Corona. And Snoop might be the biggest pop culture icon in America right now. You can't go nowhere without Snoop. Everybody knows Snoop. You go to a store right now and ask a random old white lady, do she know who Snoop is? She'd be like, yeah. Like they, they Snoop has turned into something I never thought I would see Snoop get to this far. And um, to see someone trying to drag him down, you know, right before his, and right in the middle of two of his biggest moments in recent history, it's kind of messed up, you know? Now, this woman is accusing them of, of assault and this and that. I've never seen Snoop ever be accused of this, ever. He's been accused of murder. Murder was the case that they gave me. You know, he's been accused of, you know, they found weed and this and that. Yeah, we know Snoop, Snoop is like the, the weed mascot of America. Everybody, he's the first pothead America really accepted. Him and fucking Willie Nelson. But uh, I, I've never, that's, that just doesn't seem like that fits Snoop's brand. Snoop ain't never had no history of, of, of you know, women calling him out of any of this. Like I say, the timing of it is really was uh, odd, if, if, if anything. That's why I'm like, man, I'm not even paying this no mind. I know people are get mad. Well, we shouldn't just automatically side with the men. Why not? Y'all do it when y'all... Well, look at Maury. Every, Maury, a, a woman could be on Maury five times. She done tested seven men. And that crowd is automatically going to side with this woman, no matter how slutty she is, and take her side over the man. And I'm sorry, when a guy who you, you know, I don't know Snoop personally, when a guy has no history of doing something and you just come out of nowhere at left field, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm a side with, you know, because you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, not the other way around. And that's what they do now. You're guilty until proven innocent, especially if you're black. There's really no second strikes out here. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, Snoop is just... He, he's at the apex of his career right now. He might be, he's a bigger brand than he was in the 90s as a rapper. And you can't say that about too many cats right now, may, other than maybe Jay-Z, somebody who came out in the 90s and has a bigger brand than they, they did back then. You know, he's playing the pastor on BMF. Like, he's, he's doing everything, you know? And I don't agree with everything Snoop does or says, but... I just don't fall for this story at all. You know, these women at some point had to be held accountable when charges get dropped. You know, um, why are these women not being sent to prison for falsely accusing, you know, rape charges and all that? You're making up false charges. You're making up false allegations. 
you should be punished for that. You're playing with somebody's life. And in some cases, you're messing up somebody's livelihood. You know what I mean? Like, stop playing games like that. Now, if, it's, if it comes out and they can prove it, fine. But, I mean, I don't know how these women expect people to prove stuff that happened 20 years ago. You need to step up. You, this, was, this was in May of 2013, she said. Where the fuck you been at all this time? We done had two different presidents in office since the last time this shit occurred, according to her. But we supposed to pity, you know, pity the situation. Now there's rumors that they're going to take Snoop off the Super Bowl and put 50 in his place or somebody else connected to the, the Dr. Dre uh, family tree. I'm like, damn. You know, like, it's, it's like a halftime show, so maybe everybody gets two songs apiece because it's him, it's Mary, then it's Dre, then it's Kendrick. You know, I don't know. But yeah, that's that's unfortunate. You call yourself saying that a lot of times these days. That's unfortunate. But I don't think nothing's going to really come of this. Uh, somebody will get paid off. <laughs> and it'll be over. Uh, Martha Stewart. Somebody will put in a word for Snoop. I don't think Snoop is going to get in no real trouble. I don't see this dragging on and becoming some kind of like epidemic. Where every girl in the world is like, Snoop did this, Snoop did that. Now, if that comes out, then, you know, we take it from there. But let me know what y'all think. Uh, about Snoop being uh, accused of sexual assault uh, from this former dancer, as well as Bishop Magic Bishop Don Juan, uh, the pimp legend.